Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. Irish Radio, I'm Jerry Byrne. Now, uh, since uh, lockdown began, I've been speaking to many of the uh, the great, the good and the talented uh, from uh, the Irish entertainment scene. I've got a lady now who has made major, major uh, inroads uh, last Monday. She released her uh, uh, latest uh, offering and uh, doing very well it is too. From her home in County Ross Common, I'm delighted to say hello to Regina McDermott. Regina, how are you? Hi, Jerry. How are you? So, Regina, tell me this. Uh, you, you were involved in, uh, uh, back in, in uh, a number of years ago, you were involved in uh, Dlor Cheer uh, programme. That's right, Jerry. I was. I was on Dlor Cheer in 2007. And my mentor at that time was uh, Sean Cuddy. I'm sure a lot of your listeners are familiar with Sean Cuddy. Um, and I got on really well there on Dlor Cheer. I was uh, doing... Every week, I, I, I was doing really, really well for myself. I got there to the final of Lord Chair in 2007. And I have to say, for anybody who would um, want to, you know, get themselves out there, I think it's an absolutely fantastic way of, of promoting yourself and getting your name out there. Indeed, yes, and definitely it it has, and I mean it's it's uh, you, you know, and the thing about it is uh, about that Lord Cheer program on uh, uh, TG Cahar TG Four in Ireland is the fact that uh, it, it's not about the winning; it's it's about the taking part of it and the impression that you make. Absolutely, yes, um, because it is a vote based system. You know, it's for for anyone that's taking part in it. Of course, the winning is is you know always the nice part about it. But ultimately, it's not the the end of of anything if you don't win it because, you know, lots of people watch that show and it is a means to get your name out there. I mean, you couldn't actually pay for the amount of promotion that that, um, you would get from that show. Uh, It has a huge audience and an absolutely fantastic um, way for people to get their names out there. Fantastic. Indeed. Now, the thing uh, I often wonder about it is, you know where uh, singers like yourself, you have a mentor like somebody who's been uh, long established in the music, uh, like uh, Sean Cuddy or something like that. Uh, that must be a major help to you. Oh, absolutely. Because, you know, every week as as you go on the show, in between those times, um, you would appear at gigs with the likes of Sean Cuddy, um, and Sean Cuddy, Sean Cuddy's own audience would get familiar with you that way as well. Um, likewise, I have to say all of the other country artists like Mike Denver, Jimmy Buckley, uh, John McNichol. I couldn't forget John McNichol. He's he's an absolutely fantastic guy and has been fantastic to me over the years. Um, he brought me to Nashville with him. I uh, did a, a little tour with John in Nashville. And I also partook on his DVD um, that he released uh, doing the back of vocals on that firm as well. So, you know, it's, it's a great way of making connections and it's, it's a fantastic achievement for anybody, I have to say. Indeed so. It must have been a, a, an incredible trip to uh, go to Nashville with uh, John McNichol. Oh my God, I got to see so many places. But, you know... Uh, since then, I've often said there's so much more to see in Nashville. I'd love to go back again at some stage. Um, it's, it's a fantastic place. And I always had this picture in my head, you know, when I go to Nashville, that I would hear a lot of, you know, the old style, um, kind of the, the traditional side of the country music. But it actually opened my eyes to see that there was so much more going on in Nashville in terms of... Um, contemporary country as well, uh, bordering on line of, of the rock genre, you know, and it, it's amazing. There's so many different um, cultures of music out there from B.B. King, the blues, uh, the, the contemporary country music, and of course the old style of music as well that a lot of people would be familiar with. You would hear that also. But it kind of, it wasn't what I had in mind when I went, and when I went there then, it kind of opened my mind as to see, you know, how how much diversity there is out there in country music. 
Indeed, indeed, yes. I've, uh, everybody who's been there has said it's a, you know, it's a tremendous experience. But listen, in your own, uh, on your own uh, steam, uh, you've, uh, you know, you've carved out a, a cracking career, and uh, you uh, were uh, supposed to be a busy lass right throughout this year. But uh, same as with everybody else, it all kind of came to a crushing uh, stop. But uh, you, you, you were in demand, and uh, you know, doing various uh, functions, uh, weddings, and pubs, and all the rest of it. That's right, yeah, and and that's one of the, the the big drawbacks to to the coronavirus. But on the upside, it's given me a chance to um, kind of sit down and think about you know what music I may release in the future. And um, I miss the people. I I really, really, really miss the people. I miss you know everybody coming up to you at the end of the night and saying how they enjoyed your show. I miss. You know, seeing the people get having happy times of dancing and you know just singing along with you and everything. I I really miss that. That's that's the most thing that I miss about everything. Yes, yes. It, it, you know that that's funny enough. What all of the singers, everybody says uh, that to me. That one of the big, big things that they actually miss are, are uh, the people and meeting the people and uh, you know meeting up and the, the 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 social interaction of it all. Absolutely, it's. You know, it's one of the hardest things to kind of uh, to cope with. Uh, that you every weekend, you know, you're on a Saturday evening, Friday night, Saturday evening. You know, you you go, you have your shower, you get all dressed up, you put on your makeup, you set up your gear, and you're talking to people when you have the gear set up, and then you come and you meet them. And some people mightn't even know you. You know, you might go to a new place, and you're a stranger to these people, and uh, you know they come up to you at the end of the night going. God, you know, we really enjoyed that, and you know, they they just come across to you as well. You know, we we're, we're going to be here the next night that you're here. We really enjoyed that, and you know, you hear personal stories as well from people, and you become friends with these people, and you get to know them. You know, some of them on a personal level, and they're friends. You know, yes. so I, I do. I miss that. Indeed, I bet. Now, you took out a song which uh, uh, was incredibly popular and, uh, uh, you know, a great song for playing on radio, I'll have to say, is uh, Mother's Prayers. You took out that a few months ago. That's right. And uh, I had, uh, actually, I had had that song in my mind for the longest time. Um, It was written by a lady called Elizabeth Cook. Um, She's from Florida. And... uh, it was a song that I actually fell in love with many years ago, as I said. And I went to um, Gerald O'Donoghue and going through the studio in Galway. Um, Gerald would be known to uh, a lot of bands and a lot of um, artists across the globe, not even in Ireland. Um, and he's a fantastic producer. And I, I let him listen to a couple of songs. And I that was the one that he also went back to. And I said, yeah. I said, that's the song that I had actually intended on, on releasing. And he said, it's a, it's a really good number, you know, and I can really hear your voice sitting really well in that song. So thanks to Gerald Donahue um, and his master work and all the musicians that have performed on that CD for me. Um, fantastic work by Gerald Donahue, And it did, it came out really well, and I'm very happy with it myself. And it did really well across across all the radio stations. I'm delighted with it. Right, now your your latest offering is uh, a song which you've managed to put uh, your own stamp on it together with uh, a guy called Kane O'Rourke. Now, Kane O'Rourke is a, uh, a member of the uh, uh, Derek Ryan uh, band and uh, you, you've done some work with him and uh, you've come up with uh, the song Valerie, which is a very, very different style to uh, the original versions of it. Yes, Jerry. Um, I'm I'm very excited about it. Uh, it's it's a real happy up tempo song. And when I met Kane, you know, I had said to him um, that it was a song that I I'd love to do something with. That I could hear something different going on in the background of that song. And uh, it, it's an interesting take on the song. I have to say, um, I do hope your listeners really enjoy it. Uh, it, we have a video as well coming out for that song, and the video was recorded by um, Big Adventure Media, Mark McGuire, a fantastic guy. I have to say he gave it 110%. So um, that video was launched on Friday on my own Facebook page, Regina McDermott Music, and uh, it, it's a cinematic style movie as well. Um, it's got a trad 
country feel to it. It's it's one of those songs. It, it reminds me kind of like the Galway Girl or the Hills of Donegal. You know, it's it's got that kind of festivaly vibe to it, and that was the way that we had intended it. So I, I really hope everybody enjoys it. Right, uh, no sounds sounds good. I'll have to say, but uh, one thing about it is, it's a sort of one of those uh, for the times we have. It's one of those sort of feel good, sort of uh, up tempo kind of happy sounds. That's right, Jerry. Um, we have spent a long time on this. This just just didn't happen over the period of a couple of weeks. This has been many many months, you know, in in kind of production, and due to the constraints of COVID, you know, it it, it delayed it quite considerably, and we. We had to bear that in mind. Um, you know, it's uh, it's one of those songs that I really hope, with all of the bad news that's out there on social media and on radio stations, um, and the emphasis on COVID, it can be quite, you know, hard for some people to turn on the radio and listen to that all the time. And my attitude to uh, releasing this song, people had said to me, you know, well, do you know, why are you releasing it now? And I said, well, because I feel that it's one of those songs that might just help somebody that's in, in the moment of, you know, uh, kind of, they're in, they're in a kind of a, a downward kind of feeling at the moment. But it might pick somebody up and, and give them a little bit of happiness and make them feel good. And, I, you know, I, I really hope that it makes somebody happy. Yes, sounds, no, I have to say, sounds good, and I reckon it, it's going to make a lot of people, uh, a lot of people happy. And, uh, you know, well done uh, in the times that we're in it, and it's uh, sort of so difficult to uh, be able to try and work uh, in doing a, a video and recording and everything else at the moment. Well done on doing it all. Thank you very much, Jerry. Yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing how, how it progresses over the next couple of weeks. Um, the, 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 video that I have released um, to coincide with the song Valerie um, is a cinematic style movie and uh, it involves a very good friend of mine, Ethan McDonough and Adrian Coleman. And of course, Keanu Rock is in it as well and Pat McTiernan, the drummer. And it's kind of, it's got a little storyline going along there in the background to to go along with the song. So I, I'm just hoping the viewers and the listeners really enjoy it. Yes, no doubt, no doubt they shall. And uh, you're continuing on doing uh, doing other things. You're hoping to record uh, another track, I believe. That's right. Um, as I said, you know, these things don't take, you know, days or weeks. They take months. And uh, I have a, a little bit of a track laid down, all right. Um, it's something that I, I will be working on. And hopefully, when the, the constraints of this COVID lift a little bit, um, I plan on on launching it or releasing it at at that time, um, but for now I'm just hoping that Valerie, you know, gets out there and does the work for me, you know. No doubt it will. No doubt it will, Regina. And uh, you know, well done on uh, on everything you've done. And uh, fair play to you, Regina. Listen, it's been lovely to uh, to catch up with you. I wish you all the luck in the world uh, in the career. I wish you all the luck in the world with the uh, uh, the single uh, Valerie. And listen, uh, fingers crossed. When it's safe to do so, you'll be out uh, back in action on stage once again. Yes, and just before I go there, Jerry, I'd just like to say. Thanks very much to Steve Brewer um, for distributing my single and um, to Mark McGuire for doing the video and to all the guys who helped me out with the DVD. And also, um, before I go, I'd just like to say thank you very much to your listeners and very grateful thanks to yourself, Jerry. Um, you're a massive support to me and I, I really appreciate that. It's a real pleasure, Regina. Listen, uh, you know, stay safe, stay well and uh, looking forward to uh, uh, more releases on the way shortly. Thanks a million for joining me. Appreciate it. Thanks very much, Jerry. Bye-bye.